All right, Capricorn, what's up? Divine Moon Goddess fam, bam, in the building. I know I said that all fucked up. This is your full moon in Scorpio lunar eclipse reading. Let's see what the fuck you need to let go, Capricorn. What do you need to focus on and potential outcome? Um, should you listen or maybe not listen what it looks like, okay? Already the seven of swords is popping out. We're going to keep that. So Spirit says you need to let go of the fuckery, okay? You need to let go of the people who keep lying to you. You need to let go of the people who keep giving you and feeding you bullshit. No more of that shit. We don't need no more of that. It's time to let it go, right? All right, what else we got going on? Some of you guys got this two of cups. Unfortunately, I have to put it here because I feel like for some of you, you guys are dealing with a situation where somebody wasn't being honest with you, you know? And I do feel like this is a strong connection, but it has a lot of shit. There's a lot of adversity. There's a lot of stuff that this uh, connection has been going through. You know already. The thing about it is you know. So the high priestess for me is like, you already know the secrets. You already know what's going on with this particular situation. Um, and it's time for you to let it go. Whatever that means for you. Yeah, some of you guys have been betrayed. You've been betrayed by this pat a particular person um, for the situation, whether they cheated on you or otherwise. There was some lying. I don't know necessarily was there cheating, but it does look like betrayal. So for a lot of you, it's time to let this go. Nine of Wands. You know that you need to let it go. You know that you need to walk away from this situation, but are you? Paraphant, this is what you need to focus on. Focus on your spiritual career. Focus on your schooling. Um, focus on your work. Some of you guys are teachers. Some of you guys are advisors. You know, some of you guys are working in maybe a religious organization. Um, but Spirit is telling you to focus on that. You got a lot of success in business and career. Should you focus on that career? Um, should you focus? Oh, shit. Um, and you got the magician popping out. See that? Some of you got a lot. Some of you got a spiritual uh, business here. And you have a lot of success in that should you focus on that versus the shittiness that happened with past love and past relationships. But if you don't start to refocus your mind on something else, the world card is in the reverse. You're not going to get to where you want to um, in your future. Nine of Swords, a lot of uh, worrying. Sitting here worrying about what's going to happen, especially if you do not let this situation go, you're going to be sitting in a place of worry, wondering what's it going. Well, I see why the fucking lovers is coming out. So for some of you, it just it, this boils down to, you know, the choice when they talk about the choice of this card, it's not a choice of like lovers and you got four or five people. You might. The biggest thing is choosing yourself or choosing the other person. When we choose the other persons, a lot of times we have to sacrifice ourselves in the situation. Um, but for some of you, I feel like a situation is not done, but it comes with a lot of worry and a lot of strife. Um, some of you guys are dealing with someone who's not paying attention to the situation or they're not giving enough into the partnership so you constantly feel like questioning is this my person because if it was my person wouldn't we be more happy um i do feel like you and this person have a very strong connection you will keep coming back to each other at some point um you will still have that love with the nine of cups coming and i still feel like you are somebody's dream but for some reason you guys have a lot of shit in between you um in between your energy that just keeps you guys separate um, unfortunately. So for right now, Capricorn, I feel like um, paying attention to your job, your career, um, manifesting the, the happiness that you want in a different way and making some decisions in love because real shit, you got to make some decisions in love and you might not like what you need to do, but what I'm feeling is there's this push and pull energy. It could be twin flame, um, but there's This push and pull energy that just really, really, really makes it hard. Um, this thing is going to really fucking get on my nerves. Like, really? <sighs> my, my webcam is like. Is that it? Is that it? A rack? <laughs> All right. That's what I got for you guys. Um, it, it's really, really struggling with this love. I think everything else Capricorn is going to be really good for you, but I really feel like some of you guys might need to let somebody go with this full moon, although they will be back. <laughs> they will be back, just so you know. All right. Love and light. Light and love until next time. Bye.